Hiya, welcome to my channel. Right, so I've done a really lovely set that I'm quite pleased with today. Um, I will be putting a picture in the link so you can see what I mean. Uh, so I thought what I'll do is I'll just get you a video made so I show you how I made them. So I'm using Coming Up Roses from Sensation Nail and some Snow White from Urban Graffiti. So let's get these painted. I'm using a different pink than I did today because I can't bother to find the one I used. And this stuff covers like a dream. Like butter. Just melts gorgeously. I've done a complete set but I'm only going to show you how I've done two of them because one of them is pretty easy really to be honest with you. One coat, how amazing is that? Oh, let's get that baked. Oh, let's get on with this white one. See, now the white doesn't like my lamp because I haven't got a big, massive professional lamp. I've only got one of them little sensational ones that you get from Boots with the kit. So Do that. Oops. I'll be back in a moment. Alright, so now uh, it's time to top coat it. I only gave it one coat because it doesn't need two, as you can see, that's a beautiful coat of just one. So I'm gonna use um you know what a non-white top coat from Annabelle. Let's get bells. And I just wanna put thin layer along the whole nail we're not going to put glitter on the whole entire nail we're just going to put glitter on along the top we're going to ombre it down but you know it doesn't hurt to give it a, t a top coat anyway it needs top coat whoops sorry all right so let's put that on the stand so while well, that is still wet, so now you need to get yourself some glitters. So I am using glitters that I got from Nail Sugar. Um, this is, I can't remember the collection name. I will put it in the description box below. So today I used marshmallow sprinkles and on the pink that I used, you couldn't see them. So I'm going to use Enchanted, which is the purple ones. So. Just really carefully, don't knock the glitter anywhere. Just start getting a brush. I've got a makeup brush from uh, Wilco's and just dab it on. But you're just sticking it in the wet gel. Like that, see? So that's what you do. You try and get some nice big pieces in there. You're going to top coat this after, so it's, you know, don't worry about it too much. You think it's going to stick out or. It will cover after with some top coat. But you've got to try and make sure that these bits are as flat to the nail as possible. Because this is gel, you can't have no bits sticking up. Try and get some little fine dust bits. I've got the flipping midges again. For those who don't know, midges love warm weather. So when it's hot, if you live by the river, you might realise that a lot of people will either sit in the dark with their door open or shut the windows and have their lights on. Alright, so that'll do. Just a bit down here, just a bit. That's it, like that. So now you bake that in your lights. So I'll give you a close up, sorry. I didn't realise I'd done that before I turned off the camera. There you go, 
see, it looks quite nice, doesn't it? Right, now for the white nail. So earlier on I'd done it today, but I, to be honest, I can't remember if I top coated the nail or not, so I'm not gonna bother to top coat it. So I got these um, inks, Lumen inks, bought them off of uh, AliExpress. And then today what I did was I just got a bit of um, wipes, you know, your lint-free wipes, put a bit of the color on top and then glued it to my lid because I got fed up of opening every bottle to try and find the colour that I need. So, let's crack on. But the first thing you need to do is put on a glove because that shit stains. Mate, does it not stain? I tell you. And it, if you get like red or white on your hand, it looks like you've got blood all over you. It's awful. All right, so, what I did was start off with the pink. Can't wait, bug. Put that there so I can see. So I just, all, all I did was just took a little bit and then I just dabbed it in like a flower shape. Like the, the flower leaves into a flower shape. I'm really worried about that. It can go in everywhere. Take it off that so you can see what I'm doing. It's quite, a bit now. quite warm tonight. So just what I did. If you wait for it to dry, it won't run into the other. But because I didn't there, it run in. Just do another one. So instead of me dobbing it on, I just blobbed it on like. That way, blub, blub, blub. And I'm not very good at art, so this is the way I cheated. So then I got a purple splurple, just done the exact same thing, but just somewhere else. So it just went like that. Whoops. As you can see, it makes like a ring around the edge and then when you put your next colour on, it shouldn't bleed into it. Famous last words. Let me just do one here. Like that, see? No, sometimes less is more. So now you get your green your leaves. Oh crumbs, look, it just come off, it doesn't matter. I'll put it back on, it's not a problem. So, you've got to think about where you want the leaves. I just, because I'm not very good at art, like hand painting stuff, I just thought, you know what, let me just do it this way. Because I did try earlier to Now what you've got to do is try and make sure that that's dry completely and then when it is you top coat it so I'll be back in a moment. Right okay so here it is I've given it two top coats because I don't have a matte cut top coat at the moment. Looks pretty doesn't it? I like it even shiny it looks nice. So if you don't have a matte top coat but you want a matte look you do two coats at a full bake of a top coat of a shiny top coat is fine and then you get a buffer and then you buff and what it does is it takes the shine off amazingly but this is why you put on two coats because you don't want to put on one coat and you go through your one coat let's take that off there go through your one coat and start damaging your artwork that you've just done on any artwork any artwork that you've done and you want it matte and you don't have matte this is a brilliant trick that the queen of nails Kirsty Meekin shows everyone on her videos so we make sure that nothing is shiny and then what we do is we just get a lint free wipe if I can find it lint free wipe and just a bit of pure acetone. And then you just 
wipe it. Just make sure there's nothing on there. See, it's a little bit shiny just there where there's a dink. Obviously, it's flooded. Oh, bugger. So, you can't have nothing shiny because it will look odd. So, just check it. Wipe it. Use the wipe to push it back down. That's it. Right, so what I done was... On my set, I thought I'll use a bit of bling. So, I got some... Shirovsky crystals that I bought from Aliexpress. The advert says it's Shirovsky. Now, they're really shiny, and I actually had one on my hand, on my nail. I thought, I'm gonna put it on my right thumb, because I'm right-handed, and uh, then I'll know if it, if it loses its shine or whatever. That puppy stayed proper shiny. I've got it somewhere, because I thought, I wanna throw him away, you know. So, they were good. And you know what, but to be honest with you, the way I see it is, you either buy a proper Shirovsky crystal, now it says it's proper Shirovsky, right, come on, there we go, right, on, hold, hold, I'll just put one on this one, because these puppies get taken off reused on other things because I put them on me I don't do other people's nails so no one else gets to wear them only me <laughs> right so there is the finished nail let me just get the pink on and there's the finished pink one it looks quite nice um, the image will be a bit different but I just thought I'd do a video on how I've done that set it's pretty easy it's pretty quick Pretty simple, pretty effective. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Um, I hope you enjoy this video. Please hit subscribe and like, and have a look at some of the other videos I've put up, and uh, leave me some comments in the box below. Like I say, if you come up with an idea, if you think I can do it, I will try. But I do not have a lot of gel nail varnish. I only usually do acrylics gonna start trying to get my gel collection up so yes all right like I said I better go because it's Saturday night quarter to midnight I'll be up until like four in the morning but still all right thanks for watching I'll speak to you later ta-da bye